Now let's take a look at how we can manipulate data in Excel. I'd like to take that first column and split it into two so that I can see the first name and the surname in separate columns. So the first thing we'll need to do is to insert two new columns. So I'm going to highlight from column B to column C and right click and click insert. Now I'm going to highlight the data that needs splitting. You can use your mouse to drag down or use Control, Shift and the down arrow. Come over to the Data tab, select Text to Columns, make sure Delimited is showing, click Next, make sure you've got a tick showing Space here, click the Next button. There's nothing you need to do here, it's just a general data format type. Click Finish and there you can see that column A has now been split up to show first name and last name. Now we're going to merge two columns together. I'd like to have first name and last name showing in one field. So to do that, we're going to first of all insert two new columns, blank empty columns, highlight between column C and D, right click to insert. And I'm going to carry out a formula to bring those two fields together. Equal, start to type in the word concatenate, Use the tab key to add that in automatically. You've got an open bracket. Now we're going to select the first name cell. We'll use the comma to separate them and click B4, which has got the surname in, and control and enter. That's fine, but you'll notice that there's not a space between those two words. So we need to put that right. So I'm going to just delete that formula and try it one more time. Concatenate, tab across, select the first name field, use the comma. To add a space, you need to use the shift button and the inverted comma button and use the spacebar, close inverted commas, use the comma again and select the last name field and control and enter. Now if you want to copy that formula down, just double click the button in the lower right hand corner of the cell. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy that information to the column D because at the moment that's just showing as a formula and if you were to delete column A and B everything from column C would also disappear. So to get around that you highlight the column with all the formulas in, control C to copy that, come to column D now and what we're going to do we're going to paste special so come home click the Paste Special button and choose Paste Values. Now it's going to be perfectly okay for us to delete those first three columns.